How do you feel? Um, actually quite sad. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be sad. We spent a lot of time here. This was weird, like it's done. But let's back up for a minute. This is Tyler and I'm Todd. In the last few weeks, we've shared with you some of the struggles we've been having in our personal life and the decision to make some changes in how we do things. Five years ago, when we decided to buy an old RV, renovate it, and start exploring North America, it would have never been possible without all the work and sacrifices we made in the years prior. By investing in older homes that were in major need of renovations, we were not only able to build equity, but get a monthly income from renting them out to secure our financial future no matter where life's path took us. The reality, though, is the world looks very different today than it did all those years ago. The empirical evidence is very clear that short-term rentals are playing a major role in uh, making housing less affordable. What can we do right away that makes more homes available for Canadians? And the short-term rental is one of those spaces. When we start factoring that in a life that already feels stretched thin, it's time to close this chapter. But saying goodbye to a place and a dream we spent years building together is bittersweet. Now that we're all up to speed, give this video a thumbs up and come along. So the first property that we're going to get started on is one that's very near and dear to my heart. If you've been following the vlog for a while, you probably recognize this place. This is the first place we moved to Edmonton 10 years ago. It's wild. It's, yeah, time just flies. It goes so quick. We completely renovated this place. So we'd love to show you the downstairs, but there's a long-term tenant that lives down there. This has been an Airbnb for the last five years, and we're gonna be converting this into another long-term rental. So- Gotta this, clean it out. Yeah, we lived here for, Probably four years. Off and on, like we were yeah. here for a long time and then we moved elsewhere, but this has like always been our favorite house. So we actually yeah. moved back into the upstairs unit and yeah. It feels weird being here. Yeah, it um, makes it more real. Yeah, this is like one of the first major renovations that we did. This is our living room and then coming this way, it goes into the kitchen, which is really big. And we've got like the eating area over here as well when it was one whole unit. This was the stairs to the basement. There's two floors below us, but we closed it off and put washer and dryer for this unit in here. It's really cool to be able to do that with these types of houses because not only can more people live in the neighborhood, which is, increases density and makes it more of a community, it's really good from an investment standpoint for cash flow. We did a, a podcast, I don't know if you've seen it, but we'll link it here where we talk at length about real estate and why we got into investing, so. Yeah, and it also helped like when we were living here and the basement was rented out, we weren't responsible for the full mortgage. We had someone yeah. downstairs helping cover our cost of living up here, which was nice. It was really important in getting ahead when we were in our 20s, so. Yeah. Anyway, this is the kitchen. Yeah. Love the kitchen. It's probably the biggest kitchen we've ever had. Yeah. Like, there's just so much storage. We didn't even use all the cabinets when we lived here. And then a pantry in here for the Airbnb. It had all the storage, like for the supplies for cleaning and turning the unit over. And then you come upstairs and this used to be an open loft, but we turned it into a study when we were living here. So we had a desk in here with two bedrooms in the back, but for this, we turned it into a bedroom. So works well. Yeah. All we did was we just built this wall here to close it off. When you come down this hallway here, you get the second bedroom and then our bedroom is right here. Yeah, and you can see here where we built out for closing in that bedroom. And then this is our room and it goes right through to like a Jack and Jill style bathroom. So you can come in this way and it works like it's got a nice deep tub the toilet a decent vanity and then i'm back out in the hallway yeah this is just one by the way we're doing three different properties while we're here so we have a lot of work ahead of us over the next week but basically the goal is to take all of the furniture all of the like toasters and forks Dishes. and knives anything that we could use for back in nova scotia like why would we like we've we bought all of this stuff years ago, and because we're not using them as Airbnbs anymore, it only makes sense to kind of salvage everything that we can. Yeah, like we can use it at the container house because we have to furnish that, and we still yeah. have furnishing to do at the lake. Plus, I wanted to come out and just close this chapter off. Like, it, This was a really big part of our life, yeah. and it's kind of weird because this was 
pre YouTube. Like we didn't we didn't share this online. We kind of picked you guys up when we got the RV and left this life. So feels full circle being back here with you all. So yeah. Got where it a lot all of, started. Yeah, where it all started. So we've got a lot of work to do. So I think we're just gonna dive in and decide what pieces we wanna keep, what pieces we wanna donate. And it should be pretty mm. easy because we were out three years ago and moved our personal belongings yeah. back because we thought by now we'd be living in the container house. Oh yeah, we brought you guys along for yeah. that. Taylor and Tanya, remember yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like even this couch, how cool would this be in the basement? Like yeah. we have the temporary couch from the RV. Um, the RV, yeah. I've got totes ready. I got an organization system ready. We're good to go. We're gonna get amped up and get after this. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna go over the organizing system. Okay. So all the bins, I pre put on a QR code. It's called Tote Scan, so it's just a free app on my phone. They're probably stealing all my data while we do this, but that's okay. That's okay. That's <laughs> know where things are. So all you do when you're starting a new bin, scan label. So now, once you're into this bin, take a photo and you put the quantity and you can, you can put a title that means something because the way this works, you can then search. So if you're looking for something, say you're looking- Coffee maker it will tell us exactly which bin number. So TSS3X has two coffee makers and four large plates. These stickers are color coded. So the land is green. Mm -hmm. And once a bin is filled and ready to go, you just slap the green sticker mm -hmm. on. So when we unload in Nova Scotia, we know that these anything in the land is going long-term storage and anything for the lake we're taking with us. That's okay. It's okay to be overwhelmed. Yeah. It's a lot. Right? But that's why we're in it together. That's why I got you. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna take beautiful shots and watch me run around and do all the work. Yay! <laughs> if you don't have a Todd in your life, you need to find one. <laughs> like, you really do. I would never be able to do this. I am the type of guy that would throw everything into a bin and then have a panic attack in six <laughs> months where I'm like, where is it? I need it now. The dishes and kitchen stuff, I wanna take it all over so that all the mugs are in one bin, all the plates, all the kitchen gadgets. So for now, they're not as important to inventory like on the scan. It's more so I want all the unit's kitchen stuff together. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, that section's done. Wow, that wasn't too bad. No. Yeah, I know I'm fully attracted. I'm hanging on like a fridge to a magnet. Just a couple of burning matches. A good time is the best that happens. I think, like, looking at it, it may not all fit in the truck in one trip. So what might happen is you run trips back and forth, and I'll start permanently packing it over at the other place. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We'll just keep keep going. Pitter patter. Let's get out of here. You and me, we go good together. You and I go good together. You and I, we go good together. Okay, so are this all the glasses? Glasses. So let's keep this. And we'll top it up over there. Yeah. It's gravitation. And when I see ya, it's like a bone to a golden retriever. Adds up to an easy equation. Me plus you go good together. You and I. Oh, lunch time? Lunch time. Oh, so hungry. This looks really good. That does look really good. That was a lot just then, but we crushed it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was the morning, but I thought it was gonna take way longer. So what do we think next? <clears throat> Should we do the stuff on the table, like start to pack the decor? Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you want to take with us to the lake? No. I'm gonna have one more bite for the road. Oh, what a gift it is to love and be alive. Oh, what a day to go and leave it all behind. The sky is opening with possibility. And everything you put? Yeah. Like sizes and all, so that way it, when we're trying to furnish the container house, like we know exactly if it'll fit. It's really smart. Like it'll be our own little online, like Amazon. <laughs> Now we're 
ready for a really cool thing that we've been like so excited for. I hope this works. Yeah, so we want to bring the mattresses back because they're perfect for the container house. So they're memory foam and we found these really large bags online that you just put over top of it and then you suck the air out with a shop vac and they're supposed to go 80% smaller. Allegedly. I, I don't know. Cool. Yeah, we, we can try it also. I'm so glad we got these. So we ordered these beds on Amazon and we're kind of like on the fence at first cause they're only like, I think 300 bucks, but the reviews of our Airbnbs having these, people love them. Love them. Well, we still use them. Yeah. Yeah, plus having a really good mattress protector on it. Like we yeah. have two, a, like a waterproof one and then another one. Yeah. And it looks brand new. Yeah, like look at it. It's kept it in like brand new shape. So oh, I bet a lot of strangers had sex on it. Mm. That's okay. It's like an orgy, but just with you and I. <laughs> Less social interaction, you know? <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do is just put this bag on and start sucking and <laughs> get after it. I mean, I'm hopeful and optimistic, but I don't know. It just seems too big to be true. Yeah. He was an early investor. Dumbledore is definitely involved with this. This yeah. is unbelievable. It's definitely not as tight though as my tongue. <sighs> that worked so much better than I was expecting. It's like a giant sushi roll bed now and it's so much more echoey in here, hey? Yeah, well the furniture's gone. Yeah, about. true. Bed frame's left, but yeah, it worked really, really well. The thing that I think sped it up a lot was walking on it, because if oh, not, yeah. all that air would have taken forever, I think. Um, What I was just gonna say though, I think we should do the other two beds, just in case like it's getting kind of late and the downstairs tenant, like if they come home from work and like all of that, we can get the noise out of the way. Okay. First, what do you think? Sure, we can do that. Then we can just take apart the beds and stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Let's um, let's do it. You got the plugs. Got the plug plugs. With the spray can, bumping all the jams on the boombox, sing, sing, everybody dance, break it down till the sunrise. Never mind the fans, got the vibes that you can't buy. You know what it is. Come cruise to this. Know you feeling it. We do finesse, and you know what? We bring in the best. Last sushi roll. I think we got better as we went. Totally, that first one is awful. That's embarrassing. Yeah. That doesn't even get a participation medal. It's so cool though. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. How much work do you think it is to take the beds apart? That's I really don't know, but we only have one set of drill bits. I would say 15 minutes of bed, so another hour. Say another hour to have them apart. I think we should do it. Okay, let's go. We way underestimated how much packing supplies we needed. So Todd sent me out. I'm going to Princess Auto to pick up some more supplies, but it's a really good opportunity to have some alone time, some quiet time. Um, this has been more of an emotional process than I think either of us thought that it would. We spent so many years in the house that we're working on right now and it's um, it feels like the closing of a chapter and with everything that's been going on in our personal life the last few weeks, it's a really great time to check in. This is a sponsored portion of this week's video with BetterHelp, but guys, I, I truly can't say enough great things about this service. It has completely changed my life. I don't have an appointment today, but when I left the house, I messaged my therapist. I sent her a text and said, hey, are you available to meet? I have some free time in 30 minutes, and she was able to accommodate me. I'm able to do it from this parking lot, and that is just, it's the testament of why online therapy works for me. I, I'm thousands of miles from home right now. If I had a therapist in Halifax, I would never be able to speak with them. And it's just, 
just please give it a try. You will absolutely love it. It's made me such a better, more well-rounded person. I can't say enough great things about it. I'm gonna include the code in the link in the description box down below. If you click it, you'll get 10% off your first month when you use the code Tyler Todd. Cannot recommend it enough, but I'm gonna jump on this call with her and then continue on with the packing. I met you in the sun. Saw my plans come undone. Cause I knew you were so we got one of the beds fully apart, but we noticed that the basement tenant just came home. So out of respect to them, we're gonna count this as a win today. We've got a lot done. A lot, way more than I thought. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is just clear out all of this stuff, throw it in the truck, and then we're gonna head over to property number two. And then keep going. It's but gonna be long days, but we're gonna get it done. Let's throw this in the truck. Wow, that was so productive. Yeah. Feeling really, really good about how much we got done. The truck is very, very full. Yeah, but for now we're headed over to the other place. We're gonna unload this, kind of consolidate some boxes. And I think we might have our friend coming over to help us with it, yeah. which is nice and an extra hand. So and just enjoy some wine. It's been a really long day. So yeah. Anyway, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. We ended up getting to the second property just before sunset, but it took a long time to lift in all the stuff from the truck and get everything organized. But our friend Lacey came over, which was really nice. We haven't seen her in a few years. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> I missed you. Missed you too. It's been so long. <laughs> I know. How you been? Good. That's good. Good. Do you want some wine? Yes. It was awesome to catch up with her. We vacuum packed all of the bedding and all the towels and sheets. Look at the difference though. <laughs> Holy. And just spent hours and hours organizing. Ended up having a little too much wine. Yeah, it was really great having Lacey here. Yeah, it was so great to just like catch up and spend time with an old friend, she's actually our MC at our wedding. So yeah, like we go, we're university friends, like way yeah, back. She's, way back. Um, she's Charlie and Eddie's emergency contact at the vet, even <laughs> still. still. <laughs> so anyway, it was great, but we want to get a lot of work done today because I think it would be fun to hang out again tonight, go out for some drinks and stuff. But yeah. we realized we didn't give you the tour of this place when we got here last night. So we want to give you a little walkthrough. So this is the second property that we're working on. There is another unit in this place besides just this one. So we'll show you that in a minute, but when you walk in, you get the living room. So it's very open concept in this one. We renovated this. This was actually a really bad condition. The floors were spray painted. This was all a wall we opened up to just make it really big in here. So living area and then over here, it's technically like a dining space, but it's really small. So we just had a desk here for a work area. And what we did in the kitchen was we built this island with a wraparound bench that has all kinds of storage in it. And then obviously the island has storage and a really bright open kitchen for cooking in, which is great. Yeah, and before this, used to be the stairs to go down to the basement, but we turned it into just kind of like a storage closet and then created a new entrance on the other side for the basement apartment. Yeah, like they're two completely separate units. Yeah, which is really nice yeah. for privacy and all that sort of thing. Coming down the hallway, we've got laundry in here and then we've got a bathroom, nothing too fancy. You can do your business and scrub a dub afterward. And then we've got a bedroom. So this one fits a queen bed in it a linen closet, and then another queen bed in this one. And then the third bedroom is a little bit smaller, but it has a double in it. Still nice and big for getting around. Yeah, does the trick. It's a great space for a family. That's kind of, I think, what we're gonna try and get as a tenant, someone who wants to live here for years and years to come. Yeah, it's a so, great area. Like, yeah, there's parks all area. around and school's really close, so. Yeah, do you wanna go down and quickly show? Sure. Yeah, we have to suit up though, it yeah. is, Minus 32, I think, today, so. Oh, forgot about this part of Edmonton. Oh, thanks, love. You're welcome, love. Look at this. I don't want you to freeze. I'm telling you guys, service. <laughs> All right, okay, we'll meet you downstairs. So this is what we meant when we said that we created a completely separate entrance. So this door didn't exist before. So when you come in, this is where 
you used to come down to the basement. So behind this wall is the closet that we showed you. So we actually used to live in this unit. That's typically what we did. We would move into a place, renovate it, and then once it was completely finished, we would move out into the next place that we were gonna renovate, so. We actually really loved this basement unit yeah. though. It was just perfect for all we needed. Exactly, so this space we made so beautiful. This was literally a dungeon before we started and now it's it doesn't even feel like a basement. It, it's beautiful. It's just so big and yeah, just perfect really. Yeah, so much natural light, so. You come in through here, we made it kind of like a California suite style it's called, where there's a bedroom on either side, so if someone wants to move in here that has roommates, it's really no big deal, You're, you kind of have your own spot. When we had friends staying over, they were able to have their own space, it was nice. It was really nice. So this is the bathroom, we got a nice big laundry set, so it's kind of jammed in there. <laughs> but then we have this nice bathroom, really bright and airy, I love it. And then we've got a bedroom right here on this side. This sits a queen bed, so really big. And then this nice living room, all the space you really need. Yeah. We fit a king bed in here. I think that this is probably one of our favorite renos that we've done because of what it looked like before. This was literally a dungeon. This is the one, if you listen to the podcast, we found machetes in the ceiling. We found drugs everywhere. It was in really rough shape. I'll so. see if I can find photos to throw up. Yeah, I'm sure we have them somewhere, but there's a lot of work to do here though. Like, as you can see, all of this stuff, all of it needs packed. So, gotta go. Gotta go. But I think it's gonna be great for the land, for the lake. Like, there's, there's obviously a lot of furniture we need to get. So by packing this stuff up and repurposing it, we're saving ourselves money. Let's go get to packing. I think we start yeah. upstairs and, and then subject. work our way down because yeah, it's a lot to do, let's do it. Okay. That is such great timing. The container is just getting here. So when we were trying to figure out, are we gonna move all this stuff back to Halifax or are we gonna sell it? Like, what is the plan? We got a bunch of moving quotes and by far, Pods was the most affordable. And I love that we have complete control over the move. So basically how it works, they drop this container here. We load everything from all of the different houses that we have. And then they pick it back up when we're ready, ship it all the way back to Halifax, drop it off there, and then we unload it. And then they pick it back up and take it away. I think it is the coolest thing ever. So economical. And What's best is it's on our own schedule and our own time. Look at this thing getting dropped. It is so cool. So bright, eh? It's really bright. You're all good to go. It makes a big difference when you're in here. You can actually see and feel inspired. We can yeah. just hang out in here. Versus the container that we have at the land. So that's what we're gonna do, by the way, is when we get this back to Nova Scotia, we're gonna unload it and put everything in that big 40 foot one that we worked on. Yeah. But yeah, this is really bright and yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, but it's gonna be a lot of work. So we're gonna bring all the stuff over. We were gonna do it today, but I think we'll wait till tomorrow and yeah. load the container all at once. I think it's better because it's like three full houses of stuff that we're gonna try and fit in here. I think we need to be super strategic and make sure that we have everything that we're gonna bring rather than, you know. And I think we need to be now seeing all the stuff a little bit more prioritizing. Like this is 100% going back. Yeah. And this is if we have the space to take it back. Ooh, it's so cold. It's really cold. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. And I've been dreaming of a day like this. I got my camera gonna capture all of it. Strike a pose and take a pic. This wind We're going through some stages here. Do I take my wine cork collection with me? <laughs> like I worked really hard to make this. <laughs> it's a collage of the damage to my liver. Okay, let's keep at this. We got this. Lunch time? Lunch time. I gotta say. I really miss this about the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. You are gonna be very happy about this. This looks good. I am starting to think we were a little bit naive to think we could do all of this in a week. Yeah. I don't I don't know how it's possible. Alright, let's get back to work. It is 4 06 p.m., which means it took us six hours to pack the whole kitchen, but we are finished and it well, feels great. It was two kitchens actually. So Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. We were making progress on 
upstairs and downstairs at the same time because it just made sense to have all the kitchen stuff in the same bin so yeah i was running back and forth bringing it up so i think that was really smart yeah it's looking pretty good though all the bins yeah it's just so cool to just glance at it the blue is the lake green is the land todd did that because blue for the water green for the trees but i'm getting yeah. a little bit nervous on space and we also didn't do very good at prioritizing bins like it's all mixed together mm -hmm. but like Worst case scenario, our flight date can be bumped a day if we need to. If we pack and we're like, oh my god, we gotta purge more. Yeah, that's basically. Like worst case scenario, obviously. We've just kind of been anything that's like of value. We're like, yeah, we should take it, but it is kind of making us nervous. But I think yeah. we can fit a lot though in that I, old. I think so. That old container there. But we still got couches and beds. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll but make for it now, work. we're gonna keep going with the packing theme and go downstairs and get all the decor and stuff because that needs done. Whew, we are a bit naive with this adventure, a guys. A it's lot a lot. Of here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get it done. Right. Let's keep going. Let's do it. We finally finished organizing all the stuff in the basement. What we decided to do is rather than packing it down there, we brought it up to the upstairs and kind of made a night of just organizing everything, going through it all, figuring out what we wanted to keep, what we didn't want to keep. We rolled up the carpet. It was a lot of work, but we still had time to go out with our friend Lacey. We had some peach bellinis. Which has been a tradition when we lived here, so it was kind of nice to do that again. Yeah, it was nice to be able to honor that. We did that a lot when yeah. we lived here, so it was a nice <laughs> close to that chapter yeah but we're having a little bit of a late start to the morning today but what we're gonna do is head back downstairs we're going to deal with the guest bedroom vacuum seal the mattress put the bed frame yeah. inside the headboard then we'll go over to our old bedroom and we'll vacuum seal that mattress and deal with the bed yeah then i got thinking we, we are getting better at it though oh yeah way better like we've got a system going we know yeah. they're way tighter than the first one we did yeah and then we'll take the tv off the wall because i figured that's perfect for mm -hmm. the basement at the lake and then while we were down there yesterday the couch is in really good shape yeah i think it would be really good to use that in the container home it would be like the perfect layout for the living room so now we need to go rent a cube van because we need to be able to transport all of the stuff from the other place that we've been working on to here so we can fill it in the container. Day three, and we're, I would say like 70% done. What do you guys think? I think we're about half. I'm going with 70, it makes me feel better. Yeah. When you feel it, there's a rushing wind at our back, and we're rushing in, don't even know. So we made it to the first property that we showed you guys and spent literally all afternoon finishing the packing from taking apart the beds to putting the TVs in their boxes and everything. Day three broke us. Yeah, I'm absolutely exhausted. Like, is it day three or 43? I don't know. We were just talking. It's been like almost 40 hours of packing. It's brutal. What I wanna do is put this donation stuff in the back of the cube van so that tomorrow morning it's not in our way and then we can do the stuff that we're 100% sending back with us and then at the very end is the last couple there's two boxes that I need to keep working on tonight so I figured they could go at the end so I can just quickly pull them out when we're there you heard the man We just finished loading everything. I think it's hilarious. We thought we could do that in sweaters. Yeah, it got cold. How do you feel? Um, actually quite sad. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be sad. We spent a lot of time here. Little baby Eddie was born here. <laughs> we conceived him here. We're just gonna have a little moment. Sorry. 
Yeah. No, I just want to say I want a divorce. <laughs> oh my. Just, yeah. It's just weird, like it's done. When I'm ready, yeah. like this isn't our life anymore. Someone else can make memories here. Exactly. Wow.